This is how you bath a miniature dog. First you get shampoo. Make sure you have a big enough bath to hold your dog or a small enough bath to hold your dog. Make sure the water is warm, otherwise they're not going to really like you. Make sure you get everywhere on their body wet, otherwise the shampoo will leave an itching effect. I love how we try to get And there, the dogs might try to bite the water. Don't worry. It's, it's okay. As long as they don't bite you, it will be fine. And honestly, most dogs just like to have fun in the water, like this one. Make sure you, sometimes you can buy pet shampoo. This is just a human kind that I like to use. And if you know dogs, they like to shake when they get wet. But you don't have to have human shampoo because I use this kind and it works just as good. After you bath them, it's always really good to brush their fur if it's supposed to be long. If you have a silky terrier, you know that they're supposed to be groomed daily, bathed and brushed daily. This one's a Yorkshire Terrier, so he's a mix of a silky terrier and I think a Boston Terrier. You make sure you get their snout really, really good. They eat with that and sniff. Who knows what they've been sniffing? I use a lot of shampoo on dogs because they can get very stinky. Some dogs think that shampoo tastes good, so they decide to eat it. sure you scrub their feet just as good as you would scrub your feet or even better honestly they have four of them and so they use them a lot more than us we have cars and stuff that we drive and most dogs are usually walking around going to the bathroom in your backyard tummy really good and their hind end because and make sure you wash your hands when you're done bathing your dog because even though you're using shampoo they still get kind of dirty from washing their hind end <laughs> and then once you've gotten their whole body turn the water back on be sure to have warm water once again Yes, to make sure that you have warm water. It's always best to use a sprayer. I recommend not bathing dogs with humans because you're there. It takes a lot more water than if you would bath them separate. Cute, come here, bro. This dog was a Christmas present to our family. And it's kind of funny because he came with like an instruction booklet. Bath him this much, bath him this much. Give him this much food a day. Kind of funny. This dog does not like water, but whenever he sees us backing up our boat, he loves it. He jumps right in. 
then after, and if you don't rinse out all the shampoo, it will also leave an itching effect. Make sure you have a big enough towel to dry them. We're videoing this with an electronic, obviously, so we don't want it to get wet. So that's why I keep covering the camera. Well, the camera on the device. Kila, come here, boy. This dog's name is Kila. Come on. He's a uh, one of the taller York Yorkies. That's nickname for Yorkshire Terriers. He's very friendly. And has never bitten anybody except for when my little brother was a little baby. When my little brother would start throwing things at him. So, be nice to your dogs. Life lesson, teach them to be nice. Go over there. Come <laughs> here, you. Okay, the funniest part and my favorite part is coming when we bring him out here. Alright, ready, Keelik? He's excited. Watch him sprint. <laughs> ah! <laughs> if you watch, he kind of scrapes his head. That is unusual. <laughs> yeah. Job. Yes, if we he did. Too wet. Dry his hands is better. Mm, okay, one sec. Here. No second. Oh. Oh, Emily, don't drop that. Holy cow. Sorry about that. <laughs> Look at him, he's trying to dry more of himself off. He you like your weird dog. You saw him doing that, right? Yeah, I did. Ooh, we should make a video of the tricks he can do. Elena, your hair looks awesome. Did your mom do that? Yeah, she did. Good. You'd be surprised what he does for treats, too. She thought be the end. If not, they could get an ear infection. The vet prescribed this to us. But that's uncomfortable. No, no dogs like it, but it's better than having to do this than getting an ear infection. We've had three other dogs before that have lost eyes. This one lost his eye right here. He sews this one though. <laughs> yeah. He's a little pirate dog. And so we have I call him bad dog. problems with dogs and ears and eyes. Oh, key look. No. Eyes and ears and all that stuff. Let it sit there for a minute, shake it around, and then let him go. Oh, that got sprayed. Today. Yeah, and then you, this is the stuff that I recommend using. Alright, that's good. Okay, thanks for watching. This is Evelina Videos.